Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, we're going to be talking about what new DLC content is likely going to be coming out tomorrow, the last day to take advantage of some secret sales, and a whole lot more that's going on in Grand Theft Auto Online. So let's talk about what is the last opportunity to take advantage of today. Everything that's going to be ending on July 17th and we're gonna be getting a new set of things tomorrow. The first of which is Double Money and RP in Overtime Rumble, the newest adversary mode. So this has honestly been one of my most favorite game modes. It's basically team-based version of darts, and it's so much fun. And I have seen a lot of people asking Rockstar to extend Double Money and RP in Overtime Rumble uh, because they've been enjoying it so much, and I have too. So that would be pretty cool if tomorrow we got an extension for uh, the Overtime Rumble adversary mode. It would be especially cool if we don't receive another new adversary mode, which we'll talk about in a little bit. Moving on, the next thing that's gonna be ending is an executive office sale. Now this one is a little bit interesting because each office gets various discounts. Maze Bank West is 25% off, the Arcadius Business Center is 30% off, Long Bank West is 35% off, and the Maze Bank Tower is 40% off. So again, one of the most interesting sets of discounts on you know, the offices. Now, another thing that's pretty interesting is how often the offices have gone on sale. So this is found by a user, Commander S. Look how many times they've done discounts on the offices. It's 12 times in 2016. They basically did it every month, July, August, September, at the end of September, November, and then December. And then in 2017, we've seen it a couple times already, January through February, March, April, another time in April, May through June, and now we've gotten the most recent one in July. So it's pretty crazy. It seems as if Rockstar discounts the offices uh, at least once a month with the most being 50% off and most of them being at a minimum 25% off. Now adding on to the executive office sale, we have 25% off executive garages, renovations to those garage floors, and auto shop renovations. So that's always nice, especially with all the new cars we've been getting into the game. It's also the last chance to take part of the premium race, big drop, which I believe is locked to sports races, and then the time trial, which is up Chiliad, which is a great way to get yourself an extra $50,000 to gear up for all the content. And everything I just mentioned is gonna be ending sometime today. So it, even though it's gonna be ending today on July 17th, the time at which it officially changes is sometime really early in the morning on Tuesday. That's also when we will be getting likely new content into Grand Theft Auto Online. That time as a refresher is sometime around 5 to 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, which would make that around 2 or 3 on the west coast of the U.S., would make that around 10 or 11 a.m. Uh, in Europe and in the U.K. So you guys can kind of do a time conversion. But let's move on and let's talk about what that new content could be. And we need to start with vehicles. So just to let you guys know, Rockstar haven't come out and said, you know, there's going to be new content tomorrow. And this video certainly isn't a confirmation of that. But given Rockstar's history, I would say it's almost a guarantee that that's going to be the case. As for the last two event weeks, we've gotten a new vehicle and new content, starting with the Wagner and the Independence Day stuff followed up by the cheetah classic and now that leaves us with tomorrow what vehicles are going to come out well we've narrowed it down to four possibilities if we start on legendary motorsports site the first possibility is the pagasi torero based off of the 80s lamborghini countach that was featured in vice city it's just under a million dollars so if that vehicle comes out you're going to need at least a million probably more with all the upgrades that you could possibly do. However, if Rockstar decide that they do not want to release a vehicle on Legendary Motorsports, but instead want to go over to Warstock, then the vehicle that's going to be coming out is going to be the Night Shark, the one that was actually featured in one of the Mobile Operations Center missions. It can haul the anti-aircraft trailer. It is $1.25 million, so not all that terribly expensive for a pretty useful armored vehicle that has a lot of amazing features. I'm really looking forward to this car, so I think that would be cool fit released and then there's always the chance that the two moc upgradable vehicles the insurgent custom and the technical custom could be released now speaking of that i do need to go back and say that there is no guarantee that they will be released at the same time i mentioned in a previous video that there was a line of text that said both the insurgent custom and the technical custom were both available and that they would be available at the same time well there's no line of code that requires them to be released at the same time so the insurgent custom could 
could come out first, the technical custom could come out second and vice versa. So there's always a chance that one of those two vehicles are released as well. So those right there are four vehicle options. The ones we know are not gonna be coming out are gonna be the XA21 and the Ardent as they are behind other vehicles on their respected website. So we're gonna have to wait for later dates to be able to enjoy that. Now, let's talk about what adversary modes could be coming out as we have at least one official one that is still in the game left. And that adversary mode is called Power Mad. I, I covered it a couple days ago. It features the Juggernaut versus the Beast in an objective where you're supposed to collect points in order to, I guess, outscore the other team. So that's gonna be one of the potential adversary modes that could release. Although, as I mentioned, because Rockstar have done adversary modes in back-to-back -back event weeks, I think it's unlikely that they will release another one this event week. But then, something interesting that Funim w 2 said he responded to a tweet that was i don't like this type of adversary mode it's like a death match with guns i want something interesting like overtime rumble and he responded with wait for overtime shootout and he actually tweeted at me it was a deleted tweet i'm sorry i couldn't save it but he basically said you know power mad is not the last adversary mode overtime shootout is I wonder what Overtime Shootout is gonna be because that sounds really fun, especially if it's anything similar to Overtime Rumble. So who knows, maybe Rockstar is another one hidden within the files. We know Power Mad is gonna be coming, but what about this Overtime Shootout? Will that be released soon? And will it be coming out this week or will it be coming out another week? Moving on, there's also a pretty good chance that Rockstar introduced some new clothing items into the game. There's always the possibility of this. It would most likely be the Rockstar Summer Warehouse shirts, although they haven't announced any new ones anytime soon. And you would think that before they add them into online, they would add them in real life to their uh, Rockstar Warehouse so that players could purchase them or people like me could purchase them, which I think is pretty fun. So I'm not sure if we will be getting any new sort of shirts like that. I always think they're enjoyable to have for our characters. So would be nice if we did get something new like that especially how content light the last event week was i think it would be cool if they did something like that and then the last couple things i'm expecting out of this event week would be new discounts bonuses and sales i would love it if rockstar started doing some bonuses and sales to the gun running stuff whether that's the weapon upgrades or whether that's the bunkers i think it's about time since it's been roughly five to six weeks since the content has come out that we get some nice discounts on it and then with every new event week there's likely going to be a new premium race and a time trial so if you're strapped for cash you might want to take advantage of those as it will be updated as well and as i was going back and editing this video i completely forgot about the secret sales that were going on this week so if you do have the secret sales they're gonna be ending on the same day, July 17th. It was 25% off biker businesses. So that includes like the methamphetamine labs, the weed farm, stuff like that. 50% off all biker clubhouses. They're already pretty cheap. So 50% off is quite nice. As well as a bunch of vehicle discounts, including 25% off the T20 and the 770, as well as a few other vehicles as well, like the Nightblade. So it seems as if a lot of these secret bonuses were targeted around some of the biker stuff and then various vehicles like the T20 and the Debachi 770. So again, if you do have the secret sales, that is also going to be ending for you uh, in just a couple hours, I would imagine, from the time that you guys are likely watching this video. And that's another thing we can look forward to in the next update week is secret targeted sales. Hopefully, I actually receive some of these. It's been about five weeks since I've gotten one, so hopefully that's the case. But if not, maybe you guys could help out and send me a tweet if you receive them of what those targeted sales are. And really the last thing I can keep you guys updated on here is a recent background script update that was actually happening to Grand Theft Auto Online. This was happening two or three days ago. FunMW2 has confirmed that the recent background update fix, the research issue, having research progress, even though you completed all the research projects. So this is actually happening to me. I have actually unlocked all of the research things you can do in the bunker because I'm getting ready for the insurgent and the technical custom. And even though I had my staff set to manufacturing only, it was still researching projects, which to me seemed like a waste. So I'm glad that Rockstar has fixed this as that was kind of a, a nasty little bug that was going on. So that was something that they've recently have adjusted to the gun running DLC. 
But anyways, that's all the information that I've got for you guys in this video today. Just a pretty good idea at what we're likely going to be expecting tomorrow in Grand Theft Auto Online, as well as a bunch of other updates and things we can look forward to within the next couple weeks and hopefully months. Let me know what vehicle you're most looking forward to tomorrow. Is it the Torero? Is it the Night Shark? Is it something else? I'd love to hear from you guys in the comment section down below. If you did go and enjoy the video though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily GTA 5 videos like this. With all the way guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.